Earthworks software will help you do cut and fill takeoffs for dirt quantities off either paper plans or digital plans. It works exactly the same whether you're using a traditional set of paper drawings or whether you're working on the uh, digital uh, PDF plans. Especially when you're using the new auto trace feature off these uh, PDF plans. It's terrific. We'll show you here in a second how that all works. It's going to save you a lot of time, cut your costs, you'll get very highly accurate uh, cut and fill quantities in a fraction of time it takes you to do it by hand. Simple to learn, easy to use, training is included in your purchase price. We also include instant videos and uh, which are attached to the software and also free weekly training classes uh, for a year. We also do quarterly software updates to improve the software. With Earthworks you can do soil strata analysis, uh, utilities work uh, for your running uh, pipe and trench into the site. You have grid staking maps to help you lay the site out. Uh, Earthworks also does regular takeoffs for all types of building trades, even if you're working off of regular floor plans. And uh, all the quantities uh, can transfer directly into your own Excel spreadsheets. The Earthworks software now includes new auto trades for working on these vectorized PDF files, which are not live AutoCAD files. They're simply the new style PDFs, and they will help you cut down your takeoff time. It's a fantastic new improvement. We'll show you here in a second, but it's going to cut your takeoff time probably by 80% at least. What you're seeing on your screen right now is the opening display for the Earthworks Cut and Fill software. You have your uh, pull-down menus across the top. You also have your takeoff buttons here along the side. It gives you a very clear, very straightforward uh, presentation uh, to look at here when you're uh, when you're using the, uh, the Earthworks Cut and Fill software, it's, it's very easy to use and really easy, uh, quick to learn too, for doing uh, for doing your site work takeoffs here. So what you're looking at here is a, a PDF uh, version of a grading plan. Um, Earthworks Cut and Fill works fine uh, with uh, paper plans too. You know, of course, you have to use a digitizer if you're still working with paper plans. Uh, or, of course, you can work with the digital PDF plans. It works exactly the same whether you're doing paper plan takeoffs or you're working with, uh, with digital plans. It's just simply a matter of uh, tracing in all the uh, grade elevations uh, and building pads and parking lot uh, subgrade areas as well. Uh, with paper plans, of course, you use a digitizer pen. With the digital uh, plans, you use the, uh, the mouse on, on your computer. And now we have a fantastic new advancement with the uh, uh, auto trace uh, feature for using the new style of PDFs, which the engineers are now releasing, uh, what are called first generation or vector, vectorized PDFs. Uh, they just allow you to, all you have to do now simply is mouse click on the grade and to put in the elevation and it'll run the whole contour, the whole grade elevation for you automatically. It's, it's just a, an outstanding uh, a new feature which will really help cut down your, your takeoff time a lot. So first thing you do uh, when you're looking at a PDF plan, we, we do recommend, by the way, using uh, the larger 32 inch or 37 inch uh, monitors when you're working on digital plans. But your screen handling features, you know, you have your zoom in and zoom out like, you know, like you have here. You also have your, your quick zoom buttons here, which allow you to zoom in, uh, you know, as close as you need to. You also have your, uh, you know, once you're zoomed in, you have your buttons along the side here that'll allow you to pan around. You can also hold down the right mouse button on your, on your mouse and pan around that way as well. So all these uh, screen handlers make it really easy for you to see exactly what you're doing. Of course, we like we said, we recommend that you use a larger monitor too. That, that really helps out a lot. So the process is, we'll go back here to where we started. The process is to put in initially the, um, the uh, limit of construction or limit of disturbance around the site. So we're simply mouse clicking along the perimeter of the work area. Come back to where you started and you know that'll be the limit of disturbance or limit of construction. We can then also right mouse click on that and we can uh, get our uh, topsoil stripping uh, depths also for auto respread of topsoil once we're finished. Then the, the next thing you do after that is uh, we can kind of pick an area to start in on in terms of tracing in the topos. Well, this, uh, this particular site, the existing grades uh, are 365 and it runs across in one foot increments over to 360 and then what 359 at the other side. So we'll just start with uh, a few of the existing grades here and put those in real quick. So we'll go to the uh, PDF trace version here. And uh, what that'll do is um, it'll bring up the actual PDF uh, the uh, auto trace function in the background here, you notice it turns it turns an actual gold color. Uh, this is part of the, the, the way it functions. It'll, it'll actually knows what each line is uh, on these new, uh, what they call vectorized PDF files. So what you simply do, you say you're going to put in a contour elevation that's existing, and you type in the elevation. Three, six, 
Five. You notice there's an audio feedback there in the background with the female voice telling you where you are. So you really just simply mouse click uh, along that particular uh, topo elevation there. You notice it runs it all the way back out through the LOD there. And then we'll say next elevation. Next. And you put that in at 364. Four. And you notice uh, what it'll do now, uh, we'll go out here to where the, uh, where the work area starts, and we'll just click on that. And you're really just mouse clicking. You notice it ran it all the way back out. I can kind of move back out here a little bit. You can see what it's doing. Now, simply because it knows that we're moving in one feet at a time, one foot at a time, just hit next elevation. And at this point, you can really just kind of trace in the, you just click in, and you notice it's automatically running the, uh, ran their 363 elevation for us automatically. Then we hit the next elevation. We come down in any, uh, any direction we want. You notice I just hit 362, and it automatically ran the whole thing down. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of cleanup. You notice it ran it through here. And uh, it's really as simple as that. If I need to continue with that and pick up maybe a 362 over here or a 363, I could put that in as well. Uh, then I can also say a next elevation, which would be 361. Let me kind of move back out here a little bit for you, see what we're doing. So really it's just a simple matter of clicking that elevation. You notice it ran pretty much the whole thing for us. We might have to do a few other mouse clicks here, but uh, that's going to run that, uh, that 361 elevation for us automatically, all the way out to the limited disturbance on the other side. Then you say next, you notice it automatically flips to 360, which is this one right here. So we just pop on that line there. All you're doing is mouse clicking. You notice uh, that uh, it's doing the tracing pretty much automatically for you. And uh, that'll run it down there to 360. And now if you need to, we can also run uh, the last one here at 359. We'll just simply click on that. That's going to run out all the way out to the LOD, all the way out to the other side, or limited construction. Uh, sometimes you have to make sure that you, you know, have done a full trace on it. If you make any mistakes, you can hit the, uh, the uh, undo button. But uh, it, as you can see, it, it's, it's very effective. All you need to do is just make sure that it uh, follows it all the way out outside of limited service. So there you go. Now we go back to where we started. And that's all the, uh, all the existing wow. grades that we've done. There they are. Now we go back now and do, uh, do the proposed grades. We'll hit the PDF button here again. We'll say we're going to do the proposed uh, elevations. And uh, we can then start... Um, Let's say we start over here on this side, let's say, which happens to be at 360, I'm pretty sure. So we'll put that in. And uh, what we'll do is zoom in real quick, show you some of the zoom in buttons here. And you can kind of move over a little bit over here. Keep in mind we're using a, a regular size, uh, actually a laptop screen here. So we look for 360, which uh, I happen to believe is, is uh, right there. So we'll touch 360. You notice what it did? It ran 364. So then we'll say next elevation, which this engineer was a little weird. They uh, they picked um, an odd increment uh, by uh, decimal points almost. We'll say 360.2. A little bit unusual there. But uh, so then we click, and you notice it went 360.2, and then hit next yeah. elevation. It automatically jumps to the, the next grade elevation the engineer put in. Then we hit next yeah. again. And uh, you notice it's, uh, all you got to do is hit next and then touch the, the line. You notice it's following along here. We're now at, uh, right there, 361. Hit next. next. It's going to 361.2. Notice how it's doing it uh, all automatically for us. Next. So as you can see why this is such a fantastic uh, improvement next. in terms of tracing in these uh, these topo elevations. All you really do is say, hey, that's, that's the one that I want. And you click on it and uh, there it goes. Next. So. It's just Next. simply a matter of doing this across the whole drawing. Next. Now, of course, this doesn't work on all the PDFs. It has to be a, a PDF that uh, that's done in a vectorized uh, format. If you hit make a mistake, you can always hit the undo button. You notice it'll take that out for you as well. So you can kind of put that in there as well. And uh, we can just keep running these if we want. You're really just touching along the line, and it's uh, it's running the topos for you uh, automatically. If you need to go back, you can hit next. Because sometimes you may have to go back and you know and clean things up, like three, six, two, point .2. Let's say we want to make sure we get the rest of this line here. You have to click on that just to make sure that that runs that for you. And if you can zoom back out, you can see what we've done so far, put in uh, those topos. So you can see, uh, now if we need to go back, we could say, um, next. You know, it actually will automatically incre uh, increment for us uh, if we need to fill in any more of these lines here as well. So that's really the process of uh, putting in the, um, the topography with the new auto trace feature. Uh, now you have to do, go back here and maybe do some cleanup, but I think you guys kind of get the idea of uh, what we're doing there. You can also use the, uh, the box zoom to go back, but 
that kind of gives you an idea as to what the what the, how the new auto trace feature uh, will obviously speed up greatly speed up what you're doing. Uh, we kind of zoom back in here as well. You can see what we've done there. We can move around a little bit. So we traced all those topos in in what just a matter of uh, really a few seconds. So now from here, using the Earthworks, you would also then take off for the um, for the building pad here, uh, which would involve um, going around the perimeter of the building. Uh, we can do that for you if you want. It'll show you what uh, how that works. We'll just simply put in that we're going to do the uh, the proposed school pad right here. You put that in, and you can actually predefine if you want some uh, assemblies here for concrete and fill, whatever the specs call for. You know, underneath the building here, and then from there, it's really just a simple matter of tracing the the outline of the uh, the footprint of the building with your mouse. So you kind of go along here. You're really just clicking with your mouse. And uh, make sure that you click right on the line, just like when you used to use digitizers back in the day. So really, this is all, all you really do. Uh, we'll kind of move down here a little bit. You have the sticky line that follows, follows you along, what you're doing there. Kind of tells you, shows you where, you where you are on the, uh, on the takeoff here. But we're simply really going around... I need to backspace, by the way. I can backspace a little bit there in case I go a little too far on one of the corners. And you can always, by the way, it's very, very simple and very easy to correct any mistakes that you might make in terms of uh, either tracing anything or if you put something in wrong, you can always just uh, click on a topo elevation, for instance, and uh, all you need to do really at that point is to uh, just click on it and say, you know, put in the correct elevation. So if we're doing our building pad, we're going around the perimeter, around the footprint of the building here. It's pretty straightforward. And then once we're done with that, we just say OK, and it will then calculate the amount of uh, cut and fill within that perimeter, also the, uh, the uh, quantity of materials to be placed back in, the, uh, the concrete and the stone that are going to go back in. Now, if we pull back out here, that's really where we are so far in our takeoff here. And uh, from here, you would then do the, uh, the subgrades for the, uh, for the parking lot. You'd also define the, uh, the sidewalks around the building, uh, maybe some of the green areas around, uh, around the building, and also uh, the green areas uh, within the, in the parking lots. Uh, the upshot of the whole thing is, let me just, I'll just take you over to one that we've already done here uh, so you can see what, what a takeoff actually looks like here that, uh, that's been completed. Let's go back here real quick and we'll take a look at uh, one that's already been done for us. This one here. So when, when, when you finally do put all the topos in, all the elevations, all the pads, all the parking areas and everything, you just go back down here to your calculate button right here. And what that'll do is you'll see some colors come up on the screen because it will actually do a color colorized, uh, color-coded uh, site map for you, which you can take out in the field or show one of your customers. Also as well, a grid staking map. But basically what you're getting to, the bottom line would be uh, the, uh, the amount of cut and fill on the site here. So we have uh, 55,900 yards of uh, cut, 56,6 of uh, fill. So, uh, and we also have the topsoil that we, uh, we stripped and we put uh, uh, 5,000 yards back. So we actually have a, a haul off. Uh, on this job of uh, almost 6,000 yards of haul off are going to have to come off of this job here. Now that's broken down into the areas that uh, that we put on this uh, particular drawing, which was a building pad and also some topsoil wire, and that's all in there. Now we cross on this particular one, we did the parking lot, we did a building pad, and also uh, another outer structure there. And so it breaks down all the quantities, uh, materials that are going back into each one of those uh, particular areas uh, if we're doing a site package for somebody. You can also take off uh, uh, lineal footage of curb and gutter, or fencing, and all those other types of, uh, of uh, quantities that you need to take off because one thing that's great about Earthworks is that it will, uh, it will also measure, uh, measure lengths and areas and all that and counts and all that sort of stuff. So um, Now along with the uh, Earthworks um, software, you also have uh, all the videos that come with it. These videos are fantastic. They show you what to do as you're learning. Also serve as a great reminder. Any, any one of these, you just uh, go and you can watch a, a three-minute video about uh, any particular uh, takeoff uh, function that you want to perform. You also have your tutorials up here, uh, very in-depth tutorials uh, that we provide. We also do the training um, in our web classroom, and we also have weekly uh, training classes for free uh, during your first year uh, that you're using the Earthwork um, 
Earthwork Cut and Fill software. Uh, now that was a pretty quick demonstration. Hopefully we didn't go too fast. If you want to see us do a, an online demonstration, you can send us one of your own grading plans and we'll sit here and do a takeoff for you while you watch online, if you like. That's a great way for you to, to see the details of how the, um, how the system actually will work for you. And you can ask all the questions you need to while we're, while we're online with you. Um, we really appreciate your time today. You can um, give us a call uh, anytime at uh, 1-800. 731-3038. We'd be happy to do a, a detailed demonstration for you and answer whatever questions that you might have. In the meantime, guys, um, good luck on those bids.